off last time I just hired these staff members and I'm undergoing um, staff welcoming training uh, my mo most recent game the wild wild west is now off the market it sold about 18,000 units and generated 125,000 sales give or take so now that these people are somewhat introduced to the rest of the staff being me and the janitor and the cleaning lady, uh, everybody else who comes in here. Um, they're about halfway filled up here, so I don't think it's a very good idea to get any games going. At the moment, I'm going to just do some contract work, try to boost up my research points. Uh, Vina has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vina Oasis. Comes with 16 bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Uh, Vina said at the announcement the Oasis is a new start, it will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to a mature audience. So I have to remember that anything going, coming out for the uh, Oasis, the Vina Oasis, is for mature audiences. Um, well, these after, right after this contract is completed. Uh, contract work. Hi again. I heard that you have been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list so that you're looking for some contract work. Let me know. Uh, medium sized contracts are now uh, available. So right after this contract is complete. There we go. Oh, I failed it. It's only 7,000. I need to do the game report for Wild Wild West. I've noticed I haven't put out a solid game since um, Bully Class, the near perfect 10. But hopefully that'll change this episode. Ooh, Wild West and uh, Adventure is a bad combination. World design seems to be very important. Story and quests seem to be very important. Uh, do another quick contract. Now that I know what I'm working with, let's try to just do something a bit easier. So I'm really surprised by the um, success of this series so far. Uh, my Game Dev Tycoon Let's Play series, uh, Vino Oasis, has been released. Um, I've been looking into the forums, and there seems to be quite a few mods out for this game. So if I do another series or another season of this, I might look into different mods, because I think that'd be interesting. If you want to hit, if you want to create a hit game and have a world-class team, then training is very important, very important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. Uh, it is useful to have a mix of specialists and all-arounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and technology specialist. Um, I actually clicked this by accident. I wanted to research. <clears throat> so I have 27 points. Could start... Um, Making some new stuff for my engine. Because um, I think I'm going to need another engine to get another hit game like I did with Bully Class. Um, actually, I'm going to research medium games. That's very important. You research. A new topic. Is there anything you can do? Uh, 
Let's make her think. So when you click on uh, the training thing, it won't tell you what effect it has. At first, you have to put someone through the training to find out what the benefits are, and then it'll keep track of it and remind you the next time you go to train someone. Uh, publishing contracts. Hi, J Noob. I have followed the progress of the PC Noob for a while, and it seemed that with your recent expansion, you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. Publisher will market and pub publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. And it is because you actually can build a better fan base. I can put you in touch with some publishers, so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Jasmine Droke. Uh, it just says you can find publishing contracts. Find publishing contract has been unlocked. It is accessible in the action menu. You go here. That's contracts. No publishing deal. Now when you click on this, you're basically working for another company. You're making the game. They are distributing it. It's similar to how it works nowadays. Um, Sometimes there's strict stipulations you have to follow, like it has, has to be an ev evolution game and it has to be casual. I don't have evolution research, I'm working on it. Um, for you to get the, the payout, you get 105k to fund it. Um, I'm guessing you get 11% of the royalties made, but since they distribute it, the people you're getting the contract from, uh, it goes out to a lot more people than what I could attain, like my 3,000 people. So you still, you make a lot of money. You have to hit a minimum score of 7, and the game size has to be medium. Now there's different contracts available. Uh, this is the only one I could do at this exact moment, but I'm not going to. I want uh, this guy's bar to go up just a little bit more, and her to finish her training. And I will have to make a game, because I'm completely out of research points, and I need some... Uh, Revenue coming in. So let's, let's try a publishing deal. This is exactly right up my alley. These are the kind of games I'm going to uh, target myself towards. Uh, medium, everyone, evolution, casual, gameling, my engine. Um, Yeah, let's try that. I will have to use the 2D graphics. I'm gonna go uh, pull out with them. Cost me a little bit more money, but I'm still sitting at over a million, which is pretty good. We'll see how this game goes. But... So it says engine's not really needed, which I don't know, I kinda tend to disagree with. I don't think story requests are needed at all. Now that I have uh, some staff members available, three different ones, including myself, you can actually um, drag the staff member to different sections of the game. You're basically assigning them um, all the work that's in that bit. So if I took myself, put myself on gameplay, you see this bar fills up 59%. That's basically like your fatigue level, your energy level. Uh, when, as far as I know, uh, when it comes to your character, you can't really overwhelm your person, but you can overwhelm your staff members. And when that happens, they need to go on holidays uh, more often, and that slows down your production. So I'm going to put Alan on. This is uh, on story and quest because he's got good design. Put her on engine. She's got good uh, tech, but doesn't really matter. And that's uh, stage one. So let's go with it. Something that would be really handy at this. Uh, I'll look at the research points coming in. At this point in time, would be marketing. You can start a marketing campaign for yourself and actually uh, get some hype going, which in, uh, in turn brings you in more fans. 
so I don't think dialogues are needed. Uh, the AI for uh, casual games, as far as I know, is needed. So again, we'll put Alan here. Uh, Teresa? Teresa? Put her on the AI and myself on level design. Points are very slowly coming in here, but that's alright. This might actually be a bit flop. I have to get a 7 score. It's going to cost me just a little bit, but I still get the revenue from it, like the royalties. Um, graphics important. World design, I don't think so much. Sound, yeah. I will put Alan here. See, now he's 95, that's good. It's still under the 100. If you go over the 100, you actually think you won't get as much production out of your uh, staff members. Uh, Teresa will put on sound, and myself here. Doesn't, again, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just the world design will be. Uh, suffer from it a little bit, but I don't think this game's going to be very good anyway, so that's tough luck. Prove me wrong here, prove me wrong, come on. Got eight bugs to work out, that'll get me uh, two extra points. Let's publish it 23 and 15, that's not too bad. Uh, new design record, new topic, new combo. Engine leveled up, dialogues leveled up, uh, graphics, sound leveled up. Let's release the game. Uh, new research, including uh, better 2D graphics, um, first stage of 3D graphics, and better dialogues. Uh, for myself, I'm going to generate the game report. And the first reviews for single cell are in. I'm trying to hit a seven here. I don't think I'm going to get it, so it's going to cost me a little bit, a little bit of money, but that's that's all right. I'll still make revenue. Um, let's research a couple extra. Um, need 80 re uh, research points for that. A couple extra things for the engine. Maybe put out a new engine. I should have went for the marketing. I just noticed that. That's alright, I can do that after I get the engine. I'm going to stick with 2D graphics for now and just kind of work towards some of these other things. Um, let's do open. No, let's do simple cutscenes. Open world doesn't really work for um, handheld or mobile games, in my opinion. Besides, I think when I'm done this game report, I'll uh, research something else. Doesn't live up to ex expectations uh, as per contract. Penalty boot applied to your account, unfortunately. 240k, but I'm still making money. Decent amount of money. Uh, Post-release analysis for single cell is complete. Evolution and casual is a terrible combination. Why would they ask me for it then? Uh, gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. I kind of figured that. Uh, research. Better dialogues. And research. Research level editor. That might work for casual games. I guess you just get take a break for a little bit there. Actually, I could train him. Hi, boss. I have a knack for security, and I think we should really do with some security upgrades in our office. I've done some research, and I think with an investment of 50000 we would be a lot safer than we're now. What do you say? I'll invest it. Thanks, boss. I'll get right into it. Sounds good. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. It's a workout here. Better dialogues complete.
Come on. Level editor complete. Let's create a new custom engine. Call it JV2. Um, year six. Month six. Week four. We'll add everything we can. Hopefully it won't break us. No. That's nothing. Let's go for it. Excuse me. Seems that action games are especially popular at the moment. Uh, hopefully that'll last until we get the new engine out. And maybe I can try that. I haven't done any action games um, yet this series, I don't think. Oh, I think I did one zombie one. And it failed. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the new engine is complete. I'm going to have to send these uh, two staff members on vacation quickly. Today, Nimbento announced the much-anticipated successors of the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why, that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. Best console ever, I believe. Uh, fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. Um, I'm just going to try to get it. I'm going to look at the... Oh, come on. Single cell sold just over a million units and brought me in about a million dollars. See, that's why the publishing deals are good. really good. I'm going to look at it now and see if I can... Romance. Get some of these topics that are required. Any topic simulation for the TES, really. I can actually hit that. With a minimum score of 5, I can hit that easily. And boost up some fans. Romance I'm not interested in. I don't know what makes a good romance game. A voca <laughs> These are horrible. Horrible ideas. This, I could... I could probably do that. I probably will do that. As soon as this guy gets back. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till he gets back. Alright. Let's develop um my publishing deal. Cyberpunk RPG. Oh, it has to be mature. Mature flick these are really bad suggestions. This is gonna just this is gonna flop. I could use my old engine. No, it doesn't save me any money by the looks of it. So. I really don't know what to call this. Cyber Peachy? Lame. I'm just gonna go with that. I mean, this this game's gonna be very lame. But I will probably get this episode or this uh, game out, and I'll call it the end of the episode. I can add a few extra things here, but it's still gonna be really lame. Engines not needed. It's RPG scripted. Gameplay is really not needed. Story and quests are needed. Alright, that's pretty good. Not too big of a deal as long as Alan's doing the design. The points coming in. Hi, this is Andrew McNara from Game Informant. I got word that the PC Noob is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Yes. They're going to ask me about the mature content, I know it. Uh, Andrew McNara. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Our new, our new game, your new game, is a cyberpunk RPG game. 
can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on graphic or into artificial intelligence? Graphics. Our uh, AI is really not needed for RPG. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. In a recent interview with the PC New, we discussed their upcoming cyberpunk RPG game and asked company founder Jay Noob how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, Jay Noob said that graphic is of particular importance for such a game, and it seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Every game development project has limited resources, so it's very important to use the time most effectively. Thank you. Let's hope for the best with this game. AI not really needed. Um, with better dialogues, maybe even a leveled uh, editor. Maybe AI is really not needed. Let's go with that. Hope I don't uh, leave myself short for the last phase. Today, the new game platform Super TS by Ninvento has been released. Awesome. Uh, that really is one of my favorite uh, consoles of all time. Some of the best games I've ever played are on that console. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. That's very true. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Give an interview. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. So that's a heads up that if your game's just about due, you should wait at least a week until that article's published and you get even more hype for it. Oh, I see I did. I did leave myself short. I'm up with Teresa there. Um, Alan there. No, Alan here. Me there. Perfect $100 across the board. At least it won't tucker us out too much. Planet GG has recently published an interview with the PC New. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Jay Noob, the owner of CEO, oh, the owner and CEO of the PC Noob, said, "We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them." Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. That was a big uh, controversy when they first started to come out, but now it's uh, standard <laughs> almost to have violence in every game. Like That's the way it seems to me at least. That's why I enjoy playing games like Game Dev Tycoon. There's very little violence. I can just let my mind go and relax and play something peaceful. I'm going to release this game now. It's got a huge design score, good technology score, a lot of hype, no bugs. I worked them all out. Uh, new combo, new good management, new records. And nothing leveled up, which is kind of a disappointment. Let's. Oh, uh, first reviews for Cyberpunk RPG came in. Let's hope for the best here. At least a five. That gets the publishing contract good. Uh, six. An eight. Six. Eight. So a seven overall. That's, that's pretty good. It's above what they were expecting. Generate game report for Cyberpunk RPG. Let's do some research. Do the marketing so I can get a lot more hype, more fans. Um, hmm. Try a martial arts game. Maybe we can do like some casual martial arts type games. It might work. Different topic. Oh, look at that sales. Better in the second week than in the first week. That's surprising. Deep Platinum, the game meets the required ratings. We're looking forward to your future business. And I'm going to have to end this episode. I uh, thank you for watching the PC New playing Game Dev Tycoon. Um, if you're 
like what you see, make sure you subscribe to my channel, stay up to date with the latest videos, uh, remember to click that like button, and as always, have a good one. Just a reminder to click that like button, subscribe to my channel, stay up to date with the latest videos, check me out on twitch.tv backslash the PC Noob YT. Follow me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash the PC Noob YT. And follow me on Twitter at the PC Noob YT. And until next time, have a good one.